Hi! In this video, we'll talk through how to implement collisions in your graphics program. Let's start by running what we have. We can see that it creates a moving ball, but the ball runs right off of the screen. Our goal is to have the ball bounce off the two walls. Taking a look at our code here, we have several global variables up top, a few constants that we'll use to create our graphics, the big ball variable that will store our graphic ball, and dx, which is the speed at which the ball moves forward. In the main function, we are calling two functions that create our ball and floor, init ball and create floor. Init ball receives parameters about the ball's dimensions, creates a circle, adds it to the canvas, and returns the graphic to be stored in big ball. Create floor also receives parameters, and it creates a rectangle for the floor. We don't return it because we don't need to access it once it's created. And finally, we create a timer that runs the draw function. At the moment, this function moves the ball forward every time it's called. In order to have the ball bounce off the walls, let's create a function named check walls and call it right before we move the ball. This function will check to see if the ball has collided with a wall, and if so, then reverse the dx value. Okay, let's create this function. And we'll start by bouncing off of the right wall. To do this, we are going to check to see if the right side of the ball, which is the x position plus the radius, is greater than or equal to the width of the canvas. If it is, then we will reverse dx by writing dx equals negative dx. Let's run the program and see if that worked. Great! Now for the left wall. This time we will be checking if the left side of the ball hits the wall. So we subtract the radius from the ball's x position and see if it's less than or equal to zero. If so, we want to reverse dx again. Let's run it one more time and watch our ball bounce off both walls. Great, and now it's your turn to implement collisions in your own code.